Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Bachelor Nation fans know that Fantasy Suite Week is one of the most dramatic and explosive parts of the franchise. After hometown dates, the final three contestants get a chance to spend some private time with the lid, allowing for intimate conversations and connections away from the cameras. But with this opportunity comes undeniable drama, as feelings of jealousy and insecurity often bubble to the surface when contestants realize that their competitors might be connecting on a deeper level. Over the years, many alums from The Bachelor and The Bachelorette have candidly shared their experiences in the fantasy suites, dishing out some major tea. Take Jen Tran's season, for instance. Drama reached a fever pitch when her ex unexpectedly showed up, leaving her torn between old feelings and new connections. Then there's Jillian Harris, who found herself in a sultry situation during her fantasy suite with Ed Swiderski. After a day of filming in some sunburns, the two decided to exchange massages in the bedroom. However, Ed struggled to turn the heat up and later admitted that he felt nervous, missing an opportunity to show Jillian just how much he cared. Despite the hiccup, Jillian still chose Ed in the finale. Ali Fedotowski had her own twists during Fantasy Suite Week in Season 6. During her time with Chris Lambton, the lead felt no spark and even asked a producer to interrupt her date, leaving the suite early to avoid intimacy. But when it came to Roberto Martinez, Ali was all in, sharing that she did hook up with him during their together. One of the more infamous moments came from Ben Flanick and Courtney Robertson, who didn't hold back. Their fiery connection culminated in a passionate encounter in the fantasy suite. In her memoir, Courtney candidly described ripping each other's clothes off and engaging in intense intimacy by the fire, proving that they used their time in the suite to explore their chemistry fully. Then there's Andy Dorfman, who was quite vocal about her experiences in her 2016 memoir. She painted a cringe-worthy picture of her awkward night with Nick Vile, but shared a delightful contrast when recounting her time with Josh Murray, full of laughter and joy until sunrise. Rachel Lindsay overlapped her connections with two of her final three men during fantasy suites, but didn't reveal who exactly she was intimate with, sparking fans' curiosity. Yet she confirmed, two out of the three, teasing that one of those nights was indeed special. Hannah Brown's season stirred up quite the buzz when Luke Parker confronted her about intimacy with other men. Hannah delivered a powerful rebuttal, reminding him of her autonomy and even let slip about her escapades in a windmill, keeping fans talking long after the episode aired. On the flip side, Matt James took a different approach during his fantasy sweet week. He chose to focus on building deeper emotional connections without delving into physical intimacy, which he believed his final three women appreciated. Lastly, Zach Shalcross entered the fantasy suites with strict intentions, but ended up succumbing to passion with Gabby Elnicki. This proved to complicate his relationships with the other women, leading to a difficult conversation with Kylie Bigger, who felt hurt that Zach shared their private moment. As we look back at these unforgettable moments of vulnerability, passion, and occasional misfire in relationships, it's clear the fantasy suites are a pivotal chapter in each season of The Bachelorette. They highlight the complexities of love, connection, and the journey contestants undertake. For even more Bachelor Nation moments and discussions, make sure to check out our reality TV hub.